Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's going to be time for some Europa Your Sauce for as Svaden in our Svaden campaign. <clears throat> okay, so uh, we just got out of a war with the Russians. We do have a lot of. Well, we don't have debt. We have unrest, if that counts. And um, we're just going to be at peace. We need to let their country rebuild for a little while. That would be that would be smart. That would be good. Um, I do want this. I do want this institution. We do need twenty three hundred ducats for that, so we'll get that in a bit. It's uh, it's coming along, you know. It's on its way. Takes a little bit of time, but that's all right. We spent quite a few points actually developing our capital to get that institution, so it better be worth it. It's gonna pay off our uh, our vassals' debt. And then we're going to have our fleet. We are going to have our fleet protect trade. Yes, we're protecting trade. Are you uh, embargoing anybody? No, we're okay. Lubig and Multic Sea. Yeah, we're fine. Um, so we're going to core. We're going to core everything. We're going to core everything here. And uh, once the war exhaustion has gone, we can core. I am converting a little bit, actually. And I actually do kind of want to take... I do want to take, I think, this. I actually do think I will take that. Um, we can still take... 24, uh, 24 technology, or level 24 technology across all categories. Um, I think we'll be okay. I do want this conversion speed, though, because we are converting some Orthodox territory right now. So, um, yeah, but that was a good war. I really enjoyed that. That was fun. It was a good time. I think there was a lot going on in the world right now. What is going on in the world? Yeah, I guess there's a lot going on in the world. We have a very strong army. We've got uh, 120 discipline. Morale is decent. Land tradition is actually decent. Let's convert everything and then we can start some cores. Perfect. Excellent, excellent day. Fort maintenance is expensive. Um, yeah, I have quite a few forts here. Then again, I think being heavily fortified is useful. Mm, the economy fools. I always pick that one. Always. Um, apparently, what? Hanover? Holy shit! Hanover, son? God, what are you doing over here? Now we can begin to push into Germany. Now we begin to push into Germany, and actually, I'll probably attack Poland again sometime soon. Although France, which is interesting, France is the defender of the Catholic faith. So we might actually have to go to war with France if we go to war against one of our... Uh, one of our Catholic neighbors. I would not mind vassalizing Lithuania. It'd be pretty cool. We're gonna let the manpower come back. It's gonna take some time. That's all right. It's gonna take a little bit of time. We have uh, let's see. This is twenty-eight eight, and then this is twenty-eight eight. So we have full force of it. Um, and then we just split up the artillery, really. So we had like two stacks with artillery, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. Um, I don't want to take any more technology until we get our institution, though, so. And we actually should probably hurry it up because. Can I vassalize Hanover? Mm, no, I can't. Hanover is a member of the Empire. That's interesting. Isn't Sax Lauenberg a member of the Empire? Yeah, this guy accepted vassalization freely. Not sure what his what his problem is there. Hmm. That's kind of curious. Is that curious? We can upgrade these ships. We can upgrade sixteen heavies. Okay. Yeah, I just I want my institution before we uh, take any more tech. Um. 
see, what happens with you? Succession war between Sweden and Poland. Ooh, there actually is the possibility for a succession right here. We can't get a royal marriage with Poland. He is, or with Lithuania, I mean. Um, you know, actually, it would make sense to maybe try and get this guy on our good side and get at least a royal marriage, claim his throne, declare the war, and that's it. So let's go for that. Maybe that'll work. He's hostile. He doesn't trust me at all. Yeah, minus 1,000. Probably, probably not going to happen. Um, but then again, a royal marriage is possible. Austria is still the emperor. Legitimacy and prestige are back to normal levels. So that's good. We're getting imperialism CBs everywhere, basically. Why why does my vassal have debt? Wolf of War, don't have any debt. Thank you. We're gonna have some pretty gnarly rebels though. Dude, Viborg, St. Petersburg, Kex home, White Corellia. Wow, yeah. Orthodox Zealots apparently will also rise up. That's scary. How are the Ottomans doing? Are they doing all right? Hopefully. Let's see. Don't be so damn hostile, Lithuania. Come on, man. Give me a marriage, man. Oh, he got an heir. No, never mind. Fuck it. No. He got an heir. Yeah. Yeah. Nope. 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 Nobody. Cool. Uh, we have a merchant available. Where did he come from? That's kind of interesting. Why do I have a merchant available? How is that possible? We're no longer collecting in Lubick for some reason. Wait, why? How, how was he kicked out? That's kind of weird, isn't it? It's kind of strange, don't you think? Increased our income, reduced our trade power. Perhaps we should just transfer some from somewhere. Maybe here? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not entirely certain, actually. Whoa! 40,000 Russian separatists? Cool. Uh, whoa! And they show the Ottomans your faithful allies requesting you come to their aid in the Ottoman Jihad against Austria? Uh, the war, this is a war they've started. Austria is allied with Hungary, Great Britain, Mecklenburg, Ravensburg, and Holland. France is a defender of the Catholic faith and will protect Austria. Holy shit. Oh, dear lord. Oh, dear lord. All right, let's have some fun. Where's my navy? Let's get the navy over here into the inland seas. Let's march on Mecklenburg and Holland. Holland's actually taken most of, um, like, northwestern Germany, which is kind of weird. Um, I say we go, oh yeah, we don't have an ability because we're constitutional monarchy, shit, all right, yeah, that's bad. I think we'll keep these troops permanently stationed over here for a while, a little bit. Let's go after Mecklenburg, let's go siege down a few of those things. Combat leader, please. Yeah, I'll take the guy with the maneuver. Let's go for Rostock. Oh, shit! Holy shit, the French... Alright, never mind. I think we might have to wait on this institution. I think I need men. Yeah, I think I need troops. I don't really want to battle the French, but I can't just let them walk around my terrain, so, you know. Um, let's get a few more men for this stack before we engage and do anything else. Let's play a little defensively for a while. I think we'll play defensively for just a bit. Let's get some uh, reinforcements. 
Siege ability? Yes! We have a man inside! I do want to test France, see how he does. Uh, it's kind of a shame that we did lose our alliance because we had to defend the Ottomans. Then again, if I had to pick between France and the Ottomans, I think the Ottomans make a little more sense right now. Although we did beat the Russians already. We did already beat the Russians, which means... I don't necessarily need Ottoman protection anymore. I might actually want to focus on France because he's probably a greater enemy of Germany than uh, the Russians are. But I don't know. Am I willing to take... Am I willing to debase the currency like twice or should I take some loans? Um, we're gonna be ahead on tech, so I'm actually willing to debase the currency just a couple times to embrace the institution. Because we're already we're already ahead on tech, which means that we're reducing corruption um, quicker. And then our overextension sh should go away in just a minute too. Ship consolidate. Okay, let's see how we do in battle. Oh my god. We have 120 discipline to the enemy's 107. We have way more tactics. Equal uh equal morale though. Which is kind of unfortunate. We didn't roll very good. A five to a zero, that's not bad. Six to a eight? Eh, that's alright. Oh my god! Wait a minute, that's six? Holy shit, dude, that just fucked us up! Wow! Equal casualties pretty much. Wait, that was not a victory, dude. Fuck. That was kind of scary. Holy shit. The coalition... That coalition alliance is actually much greater than our forces. Dude, how are the Ottomans... You guys are fucking nuts. I'm actually going to take this. <laughs> We're going to need that military tech. Incredible. In... This is an inland sea, so the galleys should do their thing. Or maybe not, we all just die! God damn, our galleys did not do a di Well, actually, okay, we did kill seven heavies. Come on, to be, to be fair, we did kill seven heavies right there. Not bad. Let's go engage the Dutch again. I will sally forth in the fort just to make sure. Let's shift consolidate. I will sally forth just to make sure we have the men that we need. Dude, this guy's got 9,000 cavalry. With siege ability of 531. This is their king. Holy shit. Although we have way more discipline, dude. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty decisive victory, dude. Pretty decisive. Pretty decisive. Well, I guess we're repairing, you know, the fleet. Might as well spend a little more money and upgrade the ships. We have insufficient support here. God damn you, France. I don't want Great Britain moving troops in here, but he might have already. No, I think he's thinking about it, though. This is not Inland Sea, so I cannot move in there. The Ottomans are still mobilizing. He's got 161,000 men on just his own. Pretty good. We're going to be in debt here pretty soon, though. These advisors are expensive. How many Novgorodian separatists are going to rise up? 13,000? Oh, that's fine. The 20 might be a problem. Um, I do want a few troops over here, though. Let's attack the French again. Let's see what they got. 
Dude. The French have 122 discipline with 3.6 tactics and 6.1 morale. And a 2500 Louis the 14th de Valois. Louis. I'm going to take your ass out. Wow. Wow, son. That is fucking something. A LAN! A LAN! That's pretty crazy, dude. This British, I think they might be moving to transports pretty soon. They're thinking about it. Let's actually go and engage that guy. Yep. Yeah, this is probably not the best war in the world. But, uh... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We have an obligation. Um, how many galleys do I have? Only 16? What does this guy have? He's got five heavies. He's got 20 lights, though. Can I grab an admiral? Is it worth it, though? That's the question. Perhaps. Yeah, we'll lose our light ships, but we won't do too bad with the galleys. You know, our galleys are pretty good. I mean, we killed 17 lights, 4 Carricks, 2 galleys, and 4 transports, only to lose 8 lights. I mean, come on, it's, it's, it's not bad. Shift consolidate here. Uh, yeah, I'll attack the Dutch. I'll do it again. I want offensive or aristocratic ideas. Does aristocratic give discipline? It doesn't give cavalry combat ability. It doesn't give discipline, so offensive gives discipline. Okay, so that means offensive is probably better. It's more worth it. Offensive. I don't think this war is going too well, though. Ooh! We did just stack wipe the Dutch, though. That is acceptable. That is okay. I'm okay with that. A land! Civil War in Meng Yang? I am getting notifications from like all over the world now. Holy shit. And for some reason, I think performance is going down. Huh. Must be the stream. Ship consolidate. Damn. Oh, there's the enlightenment. I don't although I don't think we have any uh... Yeah, but aren't I a constitutional monarchy anyway? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can, I can get a university, though, too. We should maybe build that at the end of this war. Okay, so the Age of Absolutism will be coming to an end. I've got 40% participation. We're just bleeding these guys dry. We have lost 240,000 men, though. Yeah, we're actually, uh, we're not doing too good. This enemy alliance is pretty formidable. The Ottomans are not that strong. They're not as strong as you think. They're not as strong as you think. They really are not. The Ottomans, you know, like, especially, it's, it's kind of the same thing with the Ming. If you play your cards right, it's not impossible to beat them. It really isn't. It's not impossible, you know. Let's take that admin. Let's see, I got a comment in the Twitch chat. Hey, dude, I have been watching your YouTube's videos for a while, and I think your content is rad, dude. Thanks, man. I think you're rad. You're fucking rad, man. Everybody who comes by the streams, you guys are rad. I really appreciate it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Can we occupy Mecklenburg? Can I get a separate piece? We don't have any gross expansion over here anymore. This might actually be worth it. Um, I can't blockade it, though. This is 31 and 8. We'll go ahead and pull off a few infantry. 28 and 8. There we go. What's the combat with? 36? No, it's actually 38 now. Okay, so we can pull, put a few more infantry. So it's going to be 30 and 8. Yep. And these are reserves. Ottoman Jihad against Austria. Mecklenburg is pieced out. Oh, come on. Really? Dude, you didn't give me anything for that. Oh, come on, Ottomans. You're not cool. Man. Did I get money, though? I don't even know if I got money. You just I think you just paid war reps. Fuck. We're still converting. Which is good. 
God damn, more French troops. Sixteen lights, huh? I do have galleys, but this isn't an inland sea, so I don't get to combat them. You know, I wonder if Russia will ever declare war on me again. I think he probably would. I think he probably wants his capital back. <laughs> Um, so we should definitely keep that frontier fortified, I mean, which means we need to be at peace, man. Um, we'll improve relations with, uh, oh yeah, we can't. Not the French. Yeah, I don't know about this war enthusiasm, man. I don't know about this war enthusiasm. We've lost 373,000 men in this war, and we're not even winning. Dude, Ottomans. Ottomans. This is fucking crazy. I did not imagine the Ottomans just this damn strong. This is just ridiculous, man. Um, I'm willing to take the regulars. Let's let's straight consolidate the regulars. I don't want these mercs, man. I don't like these mercenaries. I don't trust them. There are no bounty hunters here. The sand people don't trust them. Until there's a time where I need to engage, let's just be let's just be in the back for a second, shall we? Damn, dude, this is crazy. Look! Look at those fucking mercs! <laughs> Just bask in it. <laughs> bask in it? Come on, I'm, I'm trying to coax the British into my sea. I want to try my hand at the British. Oh, shit. Fuck. All right. Uh, is that safe to do? I don't know. Let's not get there too quickly, shall we? Oh, god damn it, Dutch. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, Konigsberg, I need to go help them out. Let's just give it a second. Sneaky France! Sneaky! Arvid Horn in the Age of Freedom. The death of the childless Charles XII left his younger sister Ulrika Eleonora in charge as queen. The staunch parliamentarian Chancellor Arvid Horn immediately seized this opportunity to bring down the absolutism and strengthen the powers of parliament. While his democratic leanings were in a way commendable, his actions were to completely destabilize Sweden and make her a puppet of foreign interests for the next 50 years. Oh, hell no, dude. I cannot lose. There's no way in hell that I can lose three stability right now. I don't re I'm not really able to afford that. Ah. Fine, you bastards. Let's go relief planning for it. Oh, shit. I didn't actually know I was going to engage that force. Okay. Our morale's shit, but that's okay. Uh, Because we killed like 12 or 14,000 men and we didn't even have any morale. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. I am all right. I am okay with that. Apparently, Bohemia owns Berlin. I think I actually... That's probably been there for a while, hasn't it? Uh, Hungary was completely annexed. This is actually kind of crazy because, you know what's kind of weird? Is... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look this up, but there actually might have been an Austro-Turkish war around this time. Not 1701 per se, we started this war in 1698. For some reason, there might have actually been an Austro-Turkish war at that time. And, I don't know, it just, it's kind of interesting that, that we're fighting this war now. Although, France, and the Ottomans, and, um, and me as Sweden, we would have been on the same side, not opposing sides. Um, Sweden was actually a very, very good ally of France. Ooh! Stack wipe. Not bad. GG. Have fun. Let's get these troops back over here to Hamburg. How many men have I killed? I don't even know anymore. I don't even know, man. 
I've killed just so many. I don't know how many anymore. I don't even know. I can't even count. Wow. This guy moved in a lot of ships. Holy shit, the power of galleys. We killed 33 lights. The power of galleys, man. I'm serious. What if I'm playing a little too fast? The power of the galleys. We've lost half a million men in this war. We lost half a million. That is incredible. I wonder how long this war is actually going to go on for. I don't, I don't get it. Aren't the Ottomans like, don't you guys want to give up now, dude? Really? The enemy is actually way... They're pretty enthusiastic about most of this. And apparently Ottoman Australia is being occupied by the French Empire. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, the British have taken California. We are outnumbered two to one. Although for some reason, I'm actually still kind of surviving over here in my little corner of the world. Ottomans, dude, your armies are just useless. He's got he's really numerous, but his his armies are just they just can't they they can't fight. They don't they don't got what it takes. They don't have what it takes. I'm not even in debt. I just realized that I'm not even in debt anymore. Wow. That's pretty crazy. We're gonna engage more French. It's time to engage even more Frenchmen. Uh, shift consolidate. I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull off the cab, I think. Well, no, I don't have any inventory. That's true. I need the cavalry. Oh my god. This is a 462. No, I don't have a full front row, do I? Yeah. Hmm. Let me grab, let me grab, let me sally forth, I think. I wonder what's nicer, French blue or Prussian blue? I mean, or, um, Swedish blue. Where are you going? Why are you going to Lundberg? That thing's over there for you. You don't have forts over here, do you? I didn't think you did. God damn, France. Dude, the French are still throwing men at me, man. Holy shit, this guy's murked up pretty heavily. I might actually have to get mercs of my own at this point. I don't really want to continue this war, but... My god. Uh, we have insufficient support here. Am I willing to attack with that? I don't know. I could pull off a few cav. I only want eight cavalry. But our front line is then too small. He's got 20 mines. Like, no, I think I have to. Yeah. Until Unless I merc up, we can't really... You know? Yeah, I'm getting insufficient support, yeah. Pretty bad. Yeah, we did stack wipe that force, though. You know, you got to stack wipe. It's not too bad. I don't know. Could be worse, probably. Although, I think we do need to leave. Austria's thinking about it. They're being fully occupied at this point. Vienna's gonna fall. Yeah, I wonder what's nicer. French blue or Swedish blue? I don't know. I think, honestly... I think Swedish blue is a little nicer. <clears throat> These are Carricks and lights. And we're going to lose because we don't have enough galleys. Nope. We need to have the galleys for it. We need more galleys. All right. Well then. And Vienna is going to fall soon. Are you for real, man? You Now you arrive with your Navy Ottomans? Now you arrive? They sailed all around the world just to help me out with that. Wow, thanks, dude. We're gonna get declared on by Russia. I bet you money. In 1703s, that, that's in the true sense. We're gonna get declared on, dude, if we can wrap this up real quick. <laughs> Seriously, I need to get out of here. I think I'm done with this war. Ottomans, you need to fucking surrender. I can do no more for you, dude. <laughs> I've bled 
Swedish sons have died for you. <laughs> There's no more to be done. Our navy's been destroyed. Army's been pretty much reduced to nothing. War exhaustion's not bad, actually. But, uh... We have not even taken Vienna yet. Ooh. Yeah, two manpower, please. Thank you. At least our manpower recovery speed is pretty good. A thousand men a month is pretty good. Like, that is impressive, you know. <clears throat> That's pretty impressive. Then again, I think the Turks are screwed. Yeah, we have to leave, dude. I cannot continue this combat much longer. God damn, I've got 90,000 Frenchmen in my land. 90 fucking thousand. Poland just declared on Bohemia. I don't really want to go into debt just for this war. No way. I'd rather just wipe these. I mean, they don't have any war score against me. Well, I guess maybe they do because of blockades. I don't know. <clears throat> I shall sally forth again, bringing an extra 8,000 infantry into this battle. Swedish steel must do the job. Uh, yeah, we lost. We lost more than we killed in that battle. Yeah, this is, uh, this is ineffective, I think. Fuck that, dude. Why am I paying money to you? No way. Fuck you guys. Fuck, man. He's gonna take Konigsberg, though. Come on, man. Come on, man. Uh, do we leave? What do we do? It's only going to get worse from here on out, I suppose. Take a Vienna. But we've lost... Oh my god! Minus 30 from battles. That's right, because it's a show superiority war goal. Oh shit, there's French troops over here now, too. Um... It's just war reps and money. We go into a little bit of debt. I guess that's fine. Yeah, Ottomans, there's there's nothing I can do for you, dude. You're screwed. I don't know if he's even going to peace out on his own. I don't think he will. I have to sever peace. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get the alliance with France again. Yeah, there's nothing more I can do for them. So. Let's go back to Stockholm. Let's rest up for a while. Uh, we did not lose our alliance with the Ottomans. We're still out of the Ottomans. The thing is, is the Russians will be coming for us. I know they will. 240,000 men. We, we're nowhere in a position to resist. Um. Oh my god. Bosnia and Wallachia and Hungary were released. And Austria took some land. What was the peace deal? Let's take a look. Ottomans will seize the grab and rods to Austria. Ottomans will give cores Kopan and Rod to Hungary. Ottomans will release Bosnia and Wallachia as sovereign states. Yeah. That's a defeat if I've ever seen one. It's pretty bad. Uh, we will not get this alliance back, I think. Don't think it's going to happen. I have to break the alliance with the Ottomans. The thing is, is would I have the Ottomans or, or the French for, for an ally against the Russians? I don't know. It's actually a good question. I don't know, actually. Hmm. I'll have to give it some thought. Uh, the Polish and the Bohemians are at war, so we'll kind of keep an eye on how that goes, because I do still need to attack Pomerania, Mecklenburg, I need to attack Lubick, and Hanover. Uh, I need to attack all these guys. Oh, 
Although, I don't think I'm in a position to clear any wars at this moment. We're making decent money. And if I had to, I can get rid of a few forts and a few uh, advisors. If I had to. We're pretty heavily fortified in the east, which is nice. Level 6s. Except for Konigsberg, it's a level 2. In fact, I might as well just get rid of this. Yeah. Right there. How large is Poland's army? 65,000? Oh, that's not... Let's take, uh, let's take the Tallest of True Faith Church Power. Yeah, definitely, definitely I think my beginning mistakes was first taking quality ideas. Even as Sweden, I don't think quality was worth it as a first military idea. Religious was absolutely a problem. I probably should have taken something else in its place. Um, admin would have helped, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, admin would have been good. How's our income? Yeah, Russia could totally kick my ass. Trade efficiency. How are our states? You guys are still mad, man. Why do you have so much development? Or why do you have so much influence? Hunsiatic influence. Yeah, give me contribution, you shits. I'm gonna use that to pay off my debt. I don't care about you burgers. Fuck you guys. I do need to make some states, though. We do need to make some states over here and over here and definitely over here. Get a few cores going. Oh, that's right. I still have mercenaries, too. Let's get rid of that. Oh, wow. Let's get at least one full stack. One good stack of troops. Let me go to Ostergotland. And then, uh, let's do... Oh, we did lose, uh, advisor. National Manpower Modifier guy will be perfect. What do I need here? This is a 17 and 8. I need 13. Wait, did I just see the Ottomans declare war in Yemen? Dude, holy shit, they are just constantly going to war. Dude, is AI broken in this patch or something? Literally, this guy is just going to war, man. I don't understand. Why is he just going to war against everybody? Holy shit. I don't understand. Why is he so confident? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why he's so confident. I really don't. I don't know. He's just, he's just really, he's just good. You know? Like, the Ottomans is just good. He's just like, yeah, I'll just go to war. Just anytime. It's fine. You know? Let's get rid of this edict. Do I need to own it or yeah, core provinces? So I can't, I can't have, um, I can't have um, Lauenburg own any of this. I have to own it myself. Okay, that's fine. A couple of generals have died. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching as always. And uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much.